guys, that's my here and I'm back with the Tottenham Football Manager series and as you can see we're here with a match against uh, Wolves in the FA Cup at home. As you can see the squad is a bit weakened and this is the third time we're playing Wolves despite them not being in the same league as us anymore. Um, and we've actually played them more than anyone else in the league, in our league or in the world this season. Which I find quite funny because they're not in our league anymore, we just met them in the cup. But um, yeah so... I don't think Wolves is a particularly hard draw, so we haven't really been unlucky, but it's not an easy draw by any means. Um, they've brought in players like Bannon, um, who's a really good player, so they're not going to be easy. But uh, our team today isn't our strongest. Um, it's basically players you can't play midweek, and Adebayor and Sandro, effectively, and obviously Lloris as well. Anyway, here we go with our team. Maurice, Norton, Hummels, Corker, Asukoto, Isco, Sandro, Valencia, Ayu, Adwell and Jovatic. Um and yeah, so hopefully we can get through. But if we, even if we do it is the FA Cup, I'm not you know, it's not what I want. Uh, it's probably right now it's probably the lowest of the competitions that I really that I'm really putting effort into because we're in the final of the Carling Cup, so you might as well go out and try and win that because then you get a cup. Um, oh, and oh, oh, we're scoring there. Yeah, Fadabo just got on the end of his touch. And then obviously we want the Premier League and Europa League. They're obviously our main targets. And then there's just the FA Cup and staying in it's a slight distraction. We'll just be playing our, you know, our more backup players until like probably the semi-finals. Um, depending on who we get in the quarter-finals or in the next round, you know. And depending on what matches we have coming up, if we don't have any matches in the coming up like really soon then we'll play our best team available obviously. Jovic there scoring a goal, won the lap already though, twelve minutes in. So it does look like this is gonna be another game which we win. Um against Wolves. Um but to be honest I'm not bothered whether we win or lose, so um hopefully it just it just happens and we get the win. I prefer the win obviously. Um you always wanna be in any competition if we can win the FA Cup at the end of the day. Everything will be worth it. Every and I'm hoping pretty much every player on our first team contributes to it to a certain degree anyway. So here we go. <sighs> Waiting for something else to come up. I haven't really got anything else to talk about. Um, here we go. I'm not quite sure to sure to put how to pronounce that. Pe 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 Peco? No, not Peco. Um. Petro, even. Not 100% sure. But anyway, here's Foley, Bannon, Hunt. Tackle by North News. Actually, played well in the last couple of matches. Um, and Adebayor. And he's done it. You can always rely on him to score. Jacko not available, otherwise, they would be playing Jacko. But um, Adebayor, give him the ball, and he will score. Jovic got the assist as well. But that's a really nice finish from Adebayor. Into the far corner. Um, but yeah, on we go with this, I guess. Stearman, Foley. Oh, one thing I do want to say about um, FIFA. I know this isn't really the kind of video to really say in, but I'm thinking, obviously not drop it because it's, you know, what kind of way I got back into YouTube. Um, if you don't know, I was, I did have a, a different channel, I did football and it, um, only. Um, but yeah, it's, I don't know, it's kind of why I got back into it and. I definitely don't want to give up on it, um, but right now I don't think it's just not going to be easy right now. I'm quite busy. Um, so we'll just have to see what happens. Um, things go well, but I know it could be better. Um, enough that the players aren't well. Valencia, I know, isn't looking as he's looking quite tired. And we could and probably should bring him off, but we'll leave him on for now. And we'll just see how it gets on. Ward's playing up front. A strange one. Um, but I know he can. Um, I know that he's one of his positions on Football Manager. I don't think I've ever seen him play up front. Not start up front anyway in real life. And he almost scored there. As did Ebanks Blake. But Lloris in the bar coming to play there. Hunt. Ah, he was well getting the game ahead of Bale. Which does, doesn't happen very often for him, so this... The Defi Cup matches are good for him to get a game. Because I don't want him just being back up. He is also a good player and he can play um, central midfield as well if we need him to. 
Valencia. Oh, that's a cross. I like the guy who just wasn't really tall enough to get on the end of it, I guess. And here comes, uh, here comes Blake, but we've won it back now. Here we go, Corker. Played it out wide, almost a good pass. Just not quite. Valencia whoops in again. I oh, tries to flick it on, can't really do much with it. Bannon now, Wolf looking to break. Pomo's just absolutely destroying their momentum. Alibi, oh, oh that's brilliant. That's brilliant from the two strikers. Jovetic with a little bit of nice, you know, just watch this. I know it's a bit laggy for you, but for me, it's not. Jovetic just ball around the, there. And Alibi, oh, touch and a nice finish. Really, really nice stuff. And the game is pretty much in the bag, or it is in the bag now, so, um, yeah. There's not a lot else to comment on, but, um, yeah, it's been an interesting game so far, and hopefully we can keep the clean sheet is probably the main thing right now. Um, whether we will or not. Ward's obviously a defender, he's playing up front, um, 100% sure on why. Um, it's a bit of a strange one, but oh well. Stephen Ward's getting too much space, yes, but he's a defender. Alibi was looking a bit tired, so I think I might bring him off in a minute. Uh, Norton going down. Valencia can't quite do anything with it, so I think I'm going to bring off Alibi or just bring on down the bar there. Might do the same with Ruiz and Valencia as well, as he's also getting a bit tired. But for now, that'll do. We'll probably bring off Sandra as well in a minute. Um, but we'll leave him out there. For now, he's doing well today, Sandra. He normally does well. He's a very good player in this game. And in real life, Asokoto, Andre Ayu. What can he do? Plays into Jovetic. What can he do? Ah. Oh, and there's a penalty. Wow, is Jovetic going to step up and take it? It looks like he is. He is indeed. Now, I, d I wasn't quite sure what that was for, but um, I guess it was. A and it's been saved, so Wolves will feel justice has been done. I wasn't quite sure what it was. Um, the other teacher, I'm not quite sure why he's taking a penalty. Um, but I guess I don't really have anyone better. Um, yeah, so I'm going to bring off Sandro now. Yeah. And bring on Fellaini. Just give Fellaini a bit more of a run out. Oh. I don't want to bring up Visco, not on the three night, we don't need to. He hasn't been what I thought he would be, you know, Visco. Um, I think he's a, he's a bit better in that 4 5 1 or 4 2 3 1 formation, whatever you want to call it. Um, that we did a couple of episodes ago and just tried it out a bit. And it's, he did play quite well, he definitely plays better in that role as, as opposed to this one. He'd prefer that role. Um, but he didn't really do anything there either, so. Oh! And they hit the post. Although there he did clear it away. So fair play to him. He hasn't been a bad player. Uh, he's like obviously it hasn't been terrible, but just not quite what I, I was expecting, especially for the money I paid. And Falc that Falcao thing, I think I might go for him and just try and get rid of Jovetic. Because um, as good as Jovetic is, I just. Falcao's miles better, to be honest. So anyway, we go through 3 0. Um, and I know people, people say, oh, you've bought too many players, but it's Falcao, he's world class, he's gonna, he, he could win us leagues and stuff. And ultimately I'd rather be winning leagues and be bankrupt than be doing average and be, you know, just fairly well off. Not, nothing special. Um, yeah, the next, we'll get, I'm also going to watch the draw actually, I think. I think we'll watch the draw in this episode. Um, Oh, I want to show you the league table because I can't remember what the last time I did. Um, we're still three games behind. Um, got three games behind on Arsenal and four points behind them, and we're basically just destroying them in goal difference. Um, we scored 62, which is more than anyone else this year. Alibi has got more than anyone else in our squad as well. Um, the sixth round draw is tomorrow, so we have to wait till then to uh, see the draw. We'll take a look at the other results as well, and there was an interesting one there. Newcastle beat Sunderland, and just a quick scan through. Liverpool go through. 
Uh, Aston Villa beat Man City with Diop scoring in the first minute. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Diop goal against France. Is it the same Diop? It is Papa Booba Diop. Senegalese man. I missed that was like first, second, third minute. It was very early on anyway. And that, was, that, was, that was just great. Almost did. Um, so that was the biggest shock of the fifth round, or well, so far at least anyway. We're just going to watch the draw in a minute. Here we go. So we have Liverpool away. Um, we would prefer Burnley or Leeds or Bristol City. But to be honest, Liverpool aren't doing too well. There's another chance to go to Anfield and beat them. Try and win there again. Uh, was it Anfield we lost? Yeah, so we already lost to Anfield this season, but we won at home. So hopefully we can go there and beat them. But, um, yeah, until next time, I... Well, no, this has been me. Please do like the video. This has been Athma. Please do like the video. Um, oh, God, I've completely gone blank. Please like the video if you did enjoy If you didn't enjoy it and, dis and dislike the video, please tell me why you didn't enjoy the video, as it helps me with my next videos coming up. Um... And basically subscribe if you're new and thank you for watching and goodbye.